be a rematch between him and Lowry Sumella in the finals. Great show of sportsmanship. And Round we're underway. One. Don't sleep on Yanni's free manis, folks. This is, he's got to be more motivated than ever for this contest. This is the biggest fight of his career. Yes, but Puck Bill already looking sharp from that side. Look at how focused he is, like a laser beam. It's that left hand, Daniel. Look, that's oh! straight through the channel. That left hand, the danger already. Well, Puck Bill was, was uh, very charismatic coming out here, but he is certainly all business right now. He's got his poker face on. That's right, the focus is there to see. The movement, though, is... I love the way he, it's subtle and it's short, but he moves straight back out into these knees already coming in. I think he's overwhelming Freemanis here in this first minute. Right hand connects around the corner. Well, he nodded there because Freemanis got a straight right hand in and it was on the jaw, so he's still got to be careful. But I think you're right, there's an intimidation factor here at the moment from Pockbill from the entrance to the way he started and the way he moves. I think he caught a good shot on the inside there in the abdomen. You can see some reddening on the left side of his body. And Freemanis, you know, a lot of his fights do go the distance, so he's a very tough guy. And he doesn't look to knock his opponent out in the first round. He's not that kind of a fighter. He has that long amateur background where they win on points. I don't know if he can afford to do that, though, in, in round one, because Park Bill is really opening up on him. Well, the one chance he's got, the one thing he's using well is that right hand. But as I say that, you're right, Park Bill comes in. He can't keep taking those knees, that sharp left hand as well. He steps away from the counters and comes in again. He's got to mount an offensive, and that right hand, to me, is the key to that offensive against the southpaw. Uh, Freemanis has won by knockout before, a couple times in his career, but he does, you know, he, he doesn't look to rush things. He, he takes his time, he watches his opponent, he makes changes, he's able to adapt well. But he took a body shot there that was beautiful with that left hand, and his face is already marking up as well. As you mentioned earlier, Dan, he's, he's already beginning to color up and mark up from the accuracy of all the tools that Pock Bill has got. Yeah, and if he's looking to wear down Pock Bill, I don't know if that's such a great strategy. He looks in incredible condition. And he's subtly controlling where this is fought as well. He went to go in to strike, he stopped. There was nothing coming back from Fremantis. He dropped his shoulders. He's in, he's in control of where this is fought as well. Look at that. Beautiful combination, and then the knee. And he's great at reacting, too. He can hit you with a shot from any direction, from any point, uh, from any distance, seemingly. Oh, my Lord, what a shot that was! The left leg set it up, then the left hand came over the top, and it only illustrated what you were saying. And then he moves just enough away to make you miss. It's been a masterclass in the opening round. So effortless here from Park Bill, it seems like. End of round one. He's got the tools to take his man out, and they were saying, really put the strikes in now. Let's see. Giannis Freemanis also has a, uh, some great cornerman too. As I mentioned, Zara Javidov in his corner, former KOK welterweight champion. Maybe the top kickboxer out of Latvia, as well as uh, Freemanis' teammate, Raymond Auxtustanis, Alks who will be fighting for the middleweight championship at the end of the evening. Oh my, good knee on the inside. That's what he's doing, a lot of his work oh. on the inside. Now, again, he nodded. This is what Freemanis has to do, but the thing is, Pock Bill then punishes him. Two or three times, he's got through with very clean shots. But what comes back at him is the danger. He's looking for that right hand. You can see he's looking to set it up. He's got to set it up and throw it more freely if he's going to get anything out of this bout. Pock Bill counters. He's caught, very he's caught nicely, him dead. Very nicely with the right hand, and Freemanis goes down. That was the timing, doubling it up. He waited till Freemanis came in, shifted his balance, the right hand came through the channel. Look at him, he's like a shark ready to strike again now. Freemanis is in real trouble here. Pop Bill's corner said to step it up. That's what he's doing. He's asking him to come forward. He's checking if those legs are all right. Well, Pop Freemanis got rocked. He got rocked and he is hurt right now. I'm not, he's very discombobulated, I think. And Pop Bill's looking to close the show. Well, he's staying in the pocket oh, now. My! The right hand! It was a flash knockdown, oh! but that wasn't. That one crossed his eyes. It's he all just over. just knocked him in the next week. This one is history. Daniel. The 
Ladies and gentlemen, KOK World Grand Prix semi-final fight. At the very second round, by technical knockout, the winner is, and to KOK World Grand Prix final goes, Red Corner, Paul Beer, Finland! What a great 